today we're going on a little bit of a mission. By the time I release this video, you've probably seen Shed City, which is the previous video, which is linked above. Um, I now have somewhere to put my bikes. So I'm heading to the old house where I currently am storing all my bikes. And uh, I'm gonna bring them back. This little ratty boy. So uh, my mate Sean was actually going to help me today uh, and I know he watches these videos uh, so I'm kind of making this video just to kind of make him feel slightly guilty uh, to see how I'm doing it um, but he was going to help me with a van uh, but couldn't uh, so I'm now going to do it the Second Life Bikeway which is not the van and it will take me longer I imagine. In his defence he had a very valid reason why he couldn't help um, but uh, he, could, he can't help so it's fine. The clue for how I'm going to do this is I will need these orange straps that kind of match my chrome bag. The rest you'll find out in a minute. The plan was actually to get a zip van today. Um, so that zip van that's uh, just by the house is uh, mugging me off a little bit. this this is where my bikes are and here and here but today my main focus is going to be the stuff in this room so I want to get the wheels and those odd tires and stuff and these frames and my go-getter my go-getter I've needed quite a bit so I want that at the new house and then uh, the way I'm going to the way up the way I'm going to do this is uh, that guy, that guy. So uh, this would be interesting. I should also probably say these leaves weren't here when I lived here. They've just been caused by me clearing out the garden and clearing out the house and clearing out stuff. So uh, that's another problem for me to worry about another day. Now, putting the frames on this trailer um, in my head was going to be amazing and I was going to fit loads on there. Um, it was actually like the worst game of Tetris that you've ever seen in your life. And um, it was really tricky to kind of get them in a good place. Um, but then obviously to kind of keep them in one place, I then used some straps. The straps were also really tricky because every time I cut them tighten, or I've tightened them, they loosened up again. Um, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, it took some time to get it right. Once it was right, I uh, then realized I had to try and squeeze it through the door, which luckily worked, because otherwise we've been screwed. And just like that, all my frames, just the frames, the full bikes are still there, but uh, the frames were uh, were at my new house. And it wasn't that scary, kind of, really. I did, however, go to take the bikes off and realize the straps have already come undone. Uh, I don't know when that happened, but uh, yeah. And then if you've seen last week's video, you know where I've been stashing them. They kind of go into this shed here i have now filled this shed with more wheels and frames so uh it's nice and full and um yeah on top has got the trailer so it's pretty sweet so i've done this is the second trip now 
Um, I'm not gonna actually do much more today just because I'm running out of time. I do a few errands in between. Uh, but uh, mission success. I it, It's actually been quite enjoyable to do. I was expecting it to be absolutely terrifying and it was, um, I mean, it's slightly nerve wracking, uh, especially when you're on the main road. Hence the reason I'm going down all the back streets currently and uh, down this little path across the park. So, um, but yeah success.